Today I'm going to show you how to calculate your grade in any class. You will need a few things first. You're going to need your syllabus, and on the syllabus you're going to need to figure out what everything is worth. So it will show somewhere that homework is worth 15%, exam 1 is worth 20%, or something like that. That's what you need to find. And then the third thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to calculate your homework average on your own. So you need to figure out, oh, do I have a 90% on the homework? Do I have an 80% or whatever? Now, once you have all of that information, here's what you're going to do. On the syllabus, you're going to find the weights for everything, which means if homework's worth 15% for the weight, you're going to put that as a decimal, so 0.15. Participation is worth 5%, so you're going to put that as a decimal, 0 0.05, and so on. Now you fill in the grades that you have, the grades that you actually know. So if you know your homework average is a 90, put that there. Your participation, you've always shown up to class and you've participated, you have 100. And once you get your exam 1 grade back, let's say you have an 80. What you do with these numbers is multiply them all out and add them up. This gives a 38.5. Now there's no way you have a 38.5% in the class because all of your grades have been either B's or A's. So what's going on here? Well, this is considering only the homework, participation, and exam one. Those grades only count for 45% of your total grade in the class. So to figure out what grade you have right now, you need to take your 38.5 and divide it by the 45. So you have about an 85.6% right now in the class. Next, I'm going to show you at the end of the semester how to figure out what grade you need to get on the final exam in order to get maybe a B. So it's going to start off the same way. You need to figure out the weights of everything. So this is again from the syllabus. Put those as decimals. And then you need to fill in all of your scores. Now if you notice here, the final exam, we don't know what that grade is. So we just put an X. It can be anything. That's what we're trying to figure out. So just as before, you're going to multiply all these numbers and add them all up. When you do that, you get 57 plus 0.3x. Now, how do we figure out our grade from this? Well, if we want to be in the class, look on the syllabus and you'll find that a B is between an 80 and a 90%. So this minimum possible grade that you could have to get a B would be an 80%. So if you set this equal to 80 and solve for x, you get 76.7. That x is the grade that you need to get on the final exam in order to get a B in the class.